Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. So am I on the right road to Piccadilly Circus? I think so. Cause I remember the policeman told me this is the very way. What did he say? Just head straight up the street about two blocks and then turn left. That's it. I think we're one block beyond. Hello. May I help you? Yes. I'd like to have this parcel delivered to Shanghai. Oh. We only take care of mail. For parcels, you can go to the next window. Thanks. Hello. I have a parcel to deliver. Where do you need it to be delivered to? I want to post it to Shanghai. Okay. Please fill out this form. Sure. What's the postcode of Shanghai? Wait a moment. Let me check it out for you. It's 200,085. Thanks. Here you go. What's the postage, please? Hold on. Let me put it on the scale. It weighs up to 10 kilograms and that will be 30 yuan, please. 10 kilograms. Dear Shirley must have put a lead ball in it. About my driving test, did I do well? You did a fabulous job. Are you telling me that I passed the test? That's what I'm telling you. What did I mess up on? You did mess up a little on one thing. Tell me. You had a little trouble on your parallel parking. That's not easy for me. That's something that you really need to work on. Am I still going to get my license? You're still going to get it. I have found it quite different here from China since I came to the United States. What's the difference? Some friends of mine took me to the mall to go shopping. It was so big. I think I could get lost if I went there alone. You must have bought many things in the mall? Not really many. I was told that on weekends there were always the flea markets, so I decided to come to the flea market to buy a bargain. It's wise to do it. The Americans have the habit of selling their junk when they are moving to another place. So they usually display all the things they want to sell in their gardens at the weekend. And many things they are selling still look quite new and they are also very useful. I have heard about it while in China. It is called a yard sale. I didn't have any idea of that until today when I came here to the big yard sale. You must have got many useful things for your new apartment. Well, you know how important a clean house is to your grandma. Yes, I hear about it every time she comes here. She was the head janitor at St. Mary's Hospital for 30 years, after all. I think she misses that job and wants to take it out on us. You know, maybe she's just a neat freak. I think she just likes to make us miserable. You could be right. Hello, is Sue there? Who? Sue John. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you bought a present for Jim's birthday yet? No, I haven't. I can't think of anything to get him. I'm having the same problem. I want to get something really special. Jim always seemed to know exactly what to get people as gifts. I know. He bought me that beautiful sweater for my birthday. 
It was exactly what I wanted. And it fit me perfectly. He bought me an iron. That doesn't sound like a great present. Maybe not, but my iron was getting old. In fact, it stopped working the week after Jim bought me the new one. It's as if he knew that my old iron would soon stop working. Let's think. He loves football, doesn't he? I saw signed photographs of famous footballers in a shop near here. Let's go and have a look. You know which team he supports, don't you? Yes, I do. Let's go. We should be able to find something suitable. We should get him something old, something historic. It'll be an expensive present, but we can share the cost. I'll be happy to get him something special, even if it costs a little extra. Yes, he always g e t a special gift. We should repay his kindness. Hello. Hello. Could I speak to Shirley Lim, please? Sure. Just a second. Who's calling? This is Sue from work. Okay. Sue, I will just go and get her. Let's go to Wangfujing by bus. Better take the subway. It's faster and more convenient. N. Where do we pay the fares? Just go to the ticket office in the subway. Do I have to pay an additional fare to change trains? No, you don't have to. Here comes the train. Be careful. Subway doors open and close automatically. Ah, oh, no, damn it. It's a blackout. Now I can't see Seinfeld. So what? I just lost one hour's worth of work. Really? How could you do that? Don't you save every couple minutes? No, I didn't save this time. Damn it. And I'm sick of writing this paper. Now I have to write it all over again, too. I've had that problem too many times. So I learned to save. When I'm writing something, I save every three sentences or so. I don't want to lose anything. I hate computers. Sometimes I think they cause more trouble than they're worth. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I feel like going out. I wonder how much of the city is down. It doesn't matter. I still can go out and buy a beer. Maybe. But if there's a blackout, probably the pubs are closed. And besides, I know you have a political science exam tomorrow. I thought you had a lot of reading to do. Yes, that's true. Damn. I just lost half my paper, and now I can't even do my homework. This is a bad time for this to happen. I have a flashlight in my closet. If you want to use that to read, You can. Thanks. I think I will try. Where are you going? I like your idea of getting a beer. I think I'll go out myself. Maybe we can trade. Why don't you stay here and read for my exam, and I'll go drink beer? No, it just won't work. If I read for your exam, you won't know the answers tomorrow. I will. So, you can go to the class for me. Just write my name on the exam book and take the exam. Why not? How many students are in the class? About 14. So it won't work, old buddy. They'll see that I'm not you. Sorry. Damn. Do you do a lot of your shopping online? Not really. I like looking on the internet at what's available, but I usually prefer to actually see and touch what I'm buying before I pay for it. Sometimes, I'll look at something in a shop, 
but later buy it online if it's cheaper. You don't like buying things online, do you? No, I'm a little worried about security. You never who's trying to find out your codes and passwords. Aren't you worried about that? Not really. I know that it happens. But if you buy from reputable companies with secure websites, you should be okay. Even though I use online shopping facilities, I don't think it's the best way to shop. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I thought you loved anything technological. I do. I'm a big fan of using new technology, but I don't want to sit in front of a computer screen all day. I think people need to get out and interact with other people. So, how about coming to the department store with me? I want to see if there are any new summer clothes on sale yet. Sure, I'd love to join you. Can we stop by the computer store? I just want to see if they have something. Sure, while you're in the computer store, I will visit the bookstore opposite. I like to browse through their books if they have anything interesting. Okay, I've finished online. Let's go. I'll just get some money and my credit card. Thanks for reminding me. I had forgotten to get mine. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.